You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are talking about the pandemic that we are all living through right now and answering the key question that Christians have been struggling with since the beginning of time. And that question is this, how does God or why does God, the God of love, allow evil to happen? We have already talked about how someone dying is not God's plan, not his direct plan, and how with each act of creation, God gave up some of his control, especially when he created human beings and gave them free will. When God created nature, he laid down certain rules and he sees it fit to let the earth unfold according to those natural processes, whether it be causing an earthquake or the mutation of a virus that threatens the entire world. Now, today we are going to continue to talk about this, the difference between God's perfect will and his permissive will. Now, these are big words, and we're going to talk about them. So it's important to understand that God does have a plan. He has a plan for you, for your family, for your community, your school, your church, the world. God does have a plan. And because God is perfect, that plan is perfect. That plan includes joy. It includes a wonderful peace. It includes us resting in him. It includes his plan is that each and every person be saved and that every human being that ever was born would join him eternally in heaven. That is God's plan. But God, through his goodness, does not push us around to make sure that his plan is achieved. Instead, he gives us a choice. He gives us free will. With every breath that we take, we can choose to walk toward God or to walk away from God. And whether you are a great follower of Jesus or not, chances are, Sometimes you choose to walk away from God. Some people choose to live their life denying that God even exists. This is not God's perfect plan. It is part of God's permissive plan, though. Now, what does it mean to be permissive? Permissive means that you allow something to happen. It's not your choice. It's not your plan. But you don't stop it from happening. In the same way, it is not what God wants that people should reject him or pretend he doesn't exist, but he doesn't force them to live differently. Likewise, God does not want an earthquake to happen and for people to be crushed by buildings or trapped in fires. God doesn't want that. God is love. He could never want that. And yet, because We are part of his creation. He respects and loves his creation. He lets things play out as they will. He created the world and all of creation according to certain rules. And when certain things happen, there are certain consequences. When viruses mutate according to the laws that God created about viruses and they become deadly and spread, God allows that to happen. It is not part of his perfect plan but he allows it to happen. Now, the big question, once we understand this, is why? Why doesn't God step in and stop these things? Well, there are two reasons for this. The first reason is because God respects creation. God respects you. He respects your choices. And he also respects all parts of creation, from the tiniest little virus to the tallest mountain. God respects what he has created and allows it to function according to the rules that he has given it. There are times, of course, when God sweeps in and creates amazing miracles, 
but for the most part, God respects creation. Now, the second and much more important reason for us why God allows evil to happen is this. God can use all things for his glory. God can use all things for his glory. And it is oftentimes when we are broken, when we are hurt, when we are trapped in death and sin and hurt, when we are affected by these things, that God can transform us, can heal us through his glory and allow us to know him better. God can use all things for his glory, whether it's an earthquake or a virus or an evil dictator. God can use all things for his glory. Now we're going to look closer at this in the coming days, but this is something that we see over and over again in history. This is not the first dangerous disease that has spread through large groups of people. There have been other epidemics and plagues. It has been terrible and people have died. But in each of those situations, just as we are experiencing now, God's glory has shone through. We have seen God's love through the loving act of people, through the heroic acts of people, through people facing death without fear because Christ is by their side. Nothing is bigger than God. Yes, God allows the evil to happen, but he can use all things for his glory. Now, today I want to challenge you to continue to pray for those on the front lines helping with the pandemic. Today, particularly pray for those in science searching for a cure to not only this, but to other diseases, that their work might be guided by God and that we all might benefit from their findings before too long. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Hey Sprouts, I just wanted to say thank you for continuing to listen during this crazy, crazy time. It brings us great joy to know that we can keep the podcast going and when so many other things are canceled or disrupted. Please know that all of us at Catholic Sprouts are praying not only for your holiness, but also for your safety and the safety of your families. Stay well.